Hello, my name is Amy Wilson and in this video I will be talking about a strategic change undertaken by ASDA in 2015. Strategic management is described as the identification of the purpose of the organisation and plans and actions to achieve that purpose. There are two main types of strategic management used in modern business and they are known as prescriptive and emergent. A prescriptive strategy is one where the objective has been defined in advance and the main elements have been developed before the strategy commences. The benefit of this strategy is that it provides an overview for the business, helping them to have the ability to monitor what has been agreed upon and if it is being followed and executed effectively. However, a drawback of this is whether the strategy is seen as too simplistic and if the future can be accurately predicted and whether the business would be able to deal with any unexpected external changes. Emergent strategic management is a strategy whose final objective is unclear and whose elements are developed during the course of its life as strategy, as strategy proceeds. <coughs> A benefit of this strategy is that it allows for experimentation and more flexibility than the prescriptive strategy, as well as allowing politics and culture to be included. However, a drawback of a strategy would be its ability to assign resources within the business, which they would need in order to complete, com compete effectively with other organisations. Thus, using the strategy would need some form of strategic overview and linked with that, it would be hard to manage if no actions were actually set out for the staff to complete. A theorist known as Titchi identified four main reasons for change, which are the environment, business relationships, <clears throat> technology and people. The, envir the environment is a key reason for ASDA, as many any moves in the environment or government legislations could adapt the amount of competitive pressure they are put under. Business relationships are another important reason for change as new alliances and partnerships can happen at any time and the business should take advantage of new value chains and opportunities. Technology is an important reason also as any shifts in this sector can have massive impacts on the work and survival of companies these days. Finally, people are a further important reason to change as they can have new educational backgrounds and cultures which require the business to change to ensure the inclusion for all the staff. The change we'll be focusing on in this video is from 2015 when ASDA planned to reinvest £4.4 million in developing 95 of its largest national stores, starting with the Eastern store in Manchester. They wanted to update their original five-year strategy in order to better address their customers' needs and also allow more services for online customers, such as click and collect locations. We can assume the reinvestment was requested by higher management as they had recorded their worst sales for 50 years. This fall in sales is highly likely to be the purpose behind the reinvestment as the new strategy should encourage more customers to shop with Asda helping them increase sales in the future. ASDA most likely chose this area to focus on in order to develop better customer relations and service and help in hope that that helps increase sales nationally as well. As a strategy chosen can be described as prescriptive, <clears throat> ASDA would have had the entire strategy planned out from the beginning. But in hindsight, both prescriptive and emergent strategies would using using both of those strategies would have allowed for adaptations as the strategy progressed along with external economic changes such as Brexit which occurred in 2016. The success of any change can be purely down to how the management is run at the time and how the change is con controlled throughout the whole process. A manager will have to consider why the employees or customers may resist change, therefore ASDA should ensure they continue with a democratic leadership style to avoid the most resistance and also encourage approachability in their managers. In order to support the change, ASDA should consider using the following model that can support the employees in acknowledging 
the change. The model was developed by Kurt Lewin in the 1950s and it involves unfreezing current attitudes towards the change, moving to a new level in order to help people, customers and employees alike accept the change, and then refreezing attitudes at this new level to help the change succeed for the long run. A benefit of this model is that it is a clear laid out process, meaning it is less likely to cause any confusion amongst staff. However, a drawback could be that it can't be followed strictly as there may be external changes which the business will need to consider and have to adapt to. Resistance to change can happen if people oppose the strategy's proposals, if they have anxiety towards the change itself due to possible job losses, if like it involves the closing down of a store, and general pessimism towards change. To overcome this, ASDA should consider building support networks in communities to help customers and staff who may feel anxious towards the change and ensure that they are involved in any discussions possible to ease any forced resistance. As well as this, they should try to use incentives and symbols to support the new era for ASDA's brand. Ethics are also important to consider as they can be defined as the rules <clears throat> and principles that ASDA, as well as other companies, must follow to define the right and wrongs they must do. For ASDA, their main principles are they respect for the individual, service the customers, strive for excellence and act with integrity. Under the brackets of ethics also comes corporate social responsibility, also known as CSR which can help ASDA care for the environment, local people and their economy. ASDA have done this by reducing their energy intensity by 20% since 20, 2010. As well as that, ASDA have said that they have had a 60% reduction in their transport emissions since 2005. In addition to caring for the environment, ASDA also try hard to include local products in their stores, ranging having a variety ranging from beers to milk and especially local, um, fruits and vegetables from local farmers. As well as using local produce, ASDA will be hiring the local people, meaning that an expansion of their stores will enable more jobs to be made across the country, helping them to show how they're becoming more customer focused. In conclusion, ASDA's decrease in sales in 2015, for the lo lowest they were in 50 years, shows they needed some form of strategic change in order to stay competitive with other supermarkets and brands such as Tesco's and Sainsbury's within their market. This reinvestment should help ASDA keep customers loyal to them and help ASDA stay ethical in this ever-changing era. Thank you for watching.